Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Poke Openings. As you can see in front of us today, I have slightly more than I usually have in an episode of this, and that is to celebrate 250 subs. Uh, as you can see by my sub count, actually, I'm slightly nearer 300 subscribers now, but I've been meaning to do 250 special for a while, but I have recently moved house, which is why there's been such a delay and I haven't uploaded anything in a while. So today I thought I'd combine it all into one massive video. Now, in front of you, um, as you can probably tell, it's going to be quite a few packs. Uh, at my calculation, I think there's 68 packs exactly, which means even if I go through each pack in only a minute, it'll be over an hour. So do sit back and get comfy, maybe grab a snack or something, because this is going to take a while. Um, and yeah, just before I begin, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed and watched my videos and stuff over the years. I never thought I'd be nearly hitting 300 subscribers. That is crazy to me. The, the fact I surpassed 100 subscribers is still amazing. I know to some YouTubers that might not be a great achievement or whatever, but honestly, to me, that is phenomenal. Um, anyway, I'll stop rambling now, and I will start cracking into these packs. You can, you can see what they are here, but if you want more details, just stay tuned, because I'll be explaining each and every one as we go into them. Um, so I'm going to be heading to a different room in my house, because this is very echoey, but it was actually the biggest room. So I thought it's best to display it all here, and then take it down to a smaller room where I can open them individually. So I will see you after this jump cut. All right, it's time to start this thing off in style. So, first up is the Rashram and Charizard figure collection. Uh, as you can see, there's a large card and a small card and a figure. And if you flip this up, with a pretty cool little flap there telling you about Rashram and it's a tag team, you'll see it comes with the figure, which you can see in slightly more detail, four packs, a jumbo and a promo. And we got Charizard there. This is the back of the box, if anyone wants to have a quick read. And, not wasting any more time, let's crack this open. So yeah, I'm probably going to be filming this over the space of like a day or two, I think, because uh, I don't think I've ever opened anywhere near this amount of Pokemon cards in one go before. I did a um, booster box once. But that was 36 cards, and this is not quite double that, I think, because it's 68. Right, we'll grab the promo out of this. Uh, hang on. Oh, that is weird. We have a bit of plastic. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back. Never mind, I didn't need to be back. Um, so, here is the promo. We'll have a better look at the oversized one in a second, but goddamn, that is some nice artwork there. I really like the, um, the borders as well, the like tag team border, I guess. Damn. Just look at that. That is, that is one of the coolest promos I think I've seen in quite a while. Now place that to the side. I do have two um, sleeves as well, just in case we pull anything ridiculously cool. Put the plastic there. This is the oversized card. You see slightly more detail on that card. This is also kind of hollow. Ooh, that blue is very, very blue. Hopefully, there's not too much light in the background. I'm still trying to work out what the right light levels are and stuff. And the reason I bought this in the first place is this figure of Charizard and Reshiram. Look at that. That is darn cool. That's the back, it's got a kind of like fire effect thing, and so they can all stick together, basically. Um, and, ooh, okay, the, the sun is really coming out now, just to illuminate how cool this duo is looking. That is very, very cool. Um, in, the, in Europe, actually, we haven't had figure sets in quite a while. Um, for some reason, there was like a health and safety thing, and they just, they, they wouldn't sell figure sets over here, so we just had a jumbo card, so it's nice to see the figure sets kind of coming back now. Anyway, I'm going to put that in the background in a second, I think, because that'll make a nice background piece, and I shall grab... Uh, ooh, oh, that's cool, so they come on little plastic trays, that's very useful. And we have the code card there, which I'll put to the side. Um, I do tend to use those, and we have four packs. We have Unbroken Bonds, Break... ooh, Breakpoint, that's quite a while ago, and we have two unified minds. Right, I'm going to go and lay everything out slightly better looking, and then we'll crack into these packs. 
All right, I'm back and I've laid them out in the order of release, I think. I, I'm pretty sure Breakpoint came out for these ones. Anyway, uh, I'm going to crack open the packs and um, probably be going through them kind of faster than normal today, I think, because we got 64 packs to go, um, which is... That's a lot. That's going to be it's going to be quite the journey, I think. So, um, right, let's put the code card to the side. Uh, four to the front. It is four, isn't it? Yes. Oh God, let's please. Oh, wait. Okay, here's three to the front because it's not a sun and moon set, is it? Okay, cool. Well, hey, let's start with the hollow dragalge, shall we? Because that is that is pretty cool, actually. There we are, that's that's a good start to the video, cool. Okay, I so it, it's not Sun and Moon, sorry about that. Um, anyway, let's continue. We have a Luxio, a Palpitoad Portion. We Ooh, wow, there is a chunky Growlithe there, okay. We have a very cute Clefairy. Uh, I don't, actually, no, I don't think that is cute. I thought that was cute, but then I, then I actually focus on the Arctic. Yay! Got Froaky. We've got a very cute Chikorita, Shelder with his tongue wiggling out, and we have, oh man, do you know, it's been a while since I've even thought of Professor Sycamore, but we have a reverse Sycamore, and wow, what a surprise, it's a hollow Dragalge, who'd have thought? But yeah, okay, that, that, is, that is pretty cool, that's, um, uh, that's, a good, that's a good start to the video, you know, I'll uh, put that to the side on its pack. So I remember for later for organisation. Now, Unbroken Bonds. This is a series I've not opened many packs of, so I think pulling any form of GX or something from this would be very cool. But um admit oh my god, wow, ooh, the, these these packs are just peeling off. So it's four to the front, isn't it? This because it is Sun and Moon. Please be an energy, fire energy. Hey, no, it's not. Okay, cool. It is a fairy energy, but it's not the rare, and that's the good thing. So we start. Oh, whoa, wow, that that is 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 gloom okay there. That genuinely looks uncomfortable. Uh, okay, um, we got. Oh, Dodrio doing try attack. Man, it's been a while since I've even thought of Dodrio either. We got an interesting looking Raticate. Oh, Mr. Us and a very interesting kind of minimalist style in the sense there. We have Glamiao being glamorous. Hey, Chunky Boy again. Not quite as chunky, but still. We have a Jigglypuff with with ribbons in her hair and stuff. That's that's really cute, actually. Um, cool. Hey, we got Ghastly in the same kind of style as Mr. of Us. That's very cool. Oh, very very psychic heavy pack. This we've got a Reverse Drowsy. And our rare is a, uh, oh, okay, so I, sorry, I thought it was hollow, it's not, it's a Miss Magius. Very nice. Uh, you know, not not bad. We've got one, one hollow and one regular rare. Man, this pack has been decimated. Okay, then. Right, let's break into some Unified Minds, which is actually a set I haven't opened at all. Um, those of you with keen eyes will have noticed in my massive lineup of cards... I have a pre-release uh, kit, two promo triple packs, and the Elite Trainer Box Unified Minds, because I was going to, like, get into it all in one big video, but because of the move, I was like, oh, I'll keep these, and then I thought, well, actually, I've got loads. Anyway, Electric Energy. Oh, hey, there we are. I am blatantly ripping off Leon Hart here, who is a fantastic YouTuber. If, um, if you enjoy Pokemon things, definitely subscribe to him. Uh, we have Coach Trainer. Okay, I haven't seen that card before. Very nice. I may be going slightly slowly in the Unified Minds packs because these this is all new to me. We have a Cresselia, very elegant. Oh, yo, Cherish Ball. That's cool. Okay. We have a Munna, very, very pass. Oh, is there a Pikachu in the background? That is. And an Eevee. Oh. Um, I was going to say I don't care much for Munna, but actually this card has kind of changed my... <laughs> Changed my outlook on that. Oh, look at Pikachu. He's, oh, he's so cute. Also, shockingly, there's a Pikachu card in this set. Uh, ooh, hey, Licky Tongue. It has been a... Oh, wow. I was like, wait, what's that? But that that's his man. His, that, is a, that is a long tongue. Um, we have a Purloin looking shifty. 
there in in the lamp. What are you, what are you doing? Ooh, yo, hello, hello, magma. Damn, that is some really badass artwork there. That's pretty cool, actually. We have a reverse Zuka tree. Very nice. I uh, still have not played Ultra Sun. It's probably been about three or four years now. Um, and our rare is a Lucario. Wow, yo, that's... Yo, hang on, wait. Ah, and in the background we have um, Giratina. I think that's that's pretty... That's pretty cool. That is, that is a nice piece of artwork. Again, it's not a hollow, but you know, sometimes sometimes getting rares that has cool artwork is just as good as a hollow. Who am I kidding? No, it's not. But, you know, still. Uh, right, actually, what, what was the pack design of the other Unified Minds then? That was uh, Espeon and Deoxys. What a, what a weird combo. Espeon and Deoxys. I know they're both psychic or whatever. Anyway, we have Giratina and Garchomp. Both Gs. Both both Gen 4 as well, actually, aren't they? Yeah. I was going to say Espeon and Deoxys are the same, but no, Espeon is Gen 2, Deoxys is Gen 3. Right, let's crack into the last pack of this Charizard and Reshiram box. Code card to the side, four to the front, and start with the Psychic Energy this time. No. Okay, well, I got one right. Let's begin. It is a U-turn board. Okay, very interesting. I'm guessing that... Um, that returns things to the bench or something, probably. We have a Caracosta, a card that shows up a lot, despite the fact he's not a very popular Pokemon. We have a Great Potion. No, oh, damn, that's that's a pretty cool piece of artwork. Yay, we have Riolu to go with our Lucario that was just pulled. There is a Meditite stretching for his things. Hey, I, I swear that Shroomish artwork I've seen in like two different sets now. I don't mind it, I, I quite like it. It's kind of, it's basic, but in a charming way. We have a slack off, sl slacking off. Um, ah, okay, n n none of his moves are slack related though. We have, we have a Drifloon that's very, that's very cute actually. Our reverse is a Stadium Nav, very nice. Um, probably something to do with Stadium cards. Can we end this box on something hype? N not, not, okay, N not fully. Um, Zygarde Doggo form, though, is quite cute. Um, yeah, that that's pretty cool. You know, I, I completely forgot about Zygarde, actually. Um, yeah, n not bad. Okay, well, there was three commons and a hollow out of four things. But honestly, like, the main, the main reason for getting this is... Look at that damn figure, that's so cool. Anyway, I realise I've, I've gone over 10 minutes now, so I'm going to clear these things up, and then next we're going to do the two-pack Legendary Drong Dogs triple pack kind of thing. See you in a second. All right, we are back to the uh, for a two-booster kind of Legendary Dog collection thing. What's it called? Okay, no, it, uh, it's... Now, <laughs> so it says a special promo card set. However, if you look at these cards here... You will notice they are not promo cards. Uh, I don't know about that one, obviously, because that's hidden, but these two would have the promo symbol. Um, however, it does come with a very nice Zoroark coin. Um, and yeah, I can't actually tell what packs these are, but, you know, it's nice. I do believe this was bought me as a birthday present. Um, and for those of you who know, know me, which I don't imagine as many people, my birthday is in August, and I am releasing this in April. 2020. Um, so it's been it's, it's been here quite a while. Um, I I will I will pull these out just so we can have a look at the legendary dogs. So first up, damn that is that is a clear like I really like the hollows that just have really like super clean backgrounds and stuff. Um, so he's not a promo. Unfortunately, I don't recognise the set symbols, but I will put them to one side for now. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out later. So that was NT. Next up, we have Sweet. Hang on. We have Suicune in. Wow, that. Yo, that is a really cool background as well. It's, um, yet again, not a promo, but, you know, whatever set that was from has some incredible hollow effects. And, of course, the last one is Raikou, who I'm expecting. Yeah, there we go. 
I like that background. Actually, um, thinking of it, these may be alternate hollows because a lot of um, the Pokemon went through a weird phase for a while of giving us alternate hollows. So it would be a different back hollow background to an already existing hollow from a set. So like the set that Entei is from, for example, might have lots of stars in the background and that's just a different hollow effect. And that is the coin, we've all seen them before, very plasticky. Uh, I probably have about 18 silver Zoroarks or something by this point. So let's put that to the side. Ooh, what do we have? We have a Steam Siege, okay. And we have a Guardian's Rising. Very nice. Okay, well, um, we'll crack open the Steam Siege first and then the Guardian's Rising. So it's three to the front, as I learned the hard way just now. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Steam Siege, I actually have almost all of the set now. I think I need like two or three break cards, which I've just been lazy and haven't bought. But um, I could always do with some more, you know, reverse hollows. I don't think I'm near the uh, completion of the set for that. Anyway, let's go through this kind of quickly. Holucha, we have a Tangrowth. Uh, there's Ambipom, very nice. There is Nidoran Mail. Ooh, uh, Clauncher. Hey, we've got a Fletchling. There's a v oh, very cute Hoppip. Hey, Sneasel in his like playful thing. No, hang on. Ah, this is the reverse. We have a Fungus. Very cute. Can we pull something nice? Y yes, kind of. Uh, that is a Needle King. Regular rare, but hey, as I said, I've got basically all of Steam Siege done so it's not like I was actually hoping to pull anything crazy. Uh, right, Guardians Rising. I don't remember a ton about this set. I know... Is this one of the ones that had like a secret rare Charizard? I think that everyone was obviously gunning for because it's a secret rare Charizard. I don't know. Um, but three to the front. Let's begin. I don't think we'll pull anything crazy because it's a single pack but let's see. Altar of the Soon. Oh, the sun, obviously. Uh, hey, we've got Mallow. Ah, Mallow. That trainer that wanted us to give her the rare bone. Hey, Ultra of the Moon to go with Ultra of the Sun. Fantastic. We have a Salandit. Hey, Stuffle. Very cute. We've got a Slowpoke. Just chillaxing. Hey, Wishy Washy, who actually I use quite a lot in Pokemon Sword. He is pretty darn good, actually. We've got a Nose Pass. A bl uh, Blissey Reverse. Okay, very nice, because Blissey is probably a rare in this set. And our rare is a Salazzle. Very nice to go with the Salandit. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I slapped that really hard on the table there. Cool, all right. Well, no, no crazy pulls there, but hey, we are on the journey. And on that way, we did get three very nice promos and a coin. So I'm going to put these over there with my other stuff. Uh, I'm going to go grab another, like, triple pack probably or something, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with um, these little collection tins. Now, I can't remember what this series is called. Um, I know there's, like, th there's the Galar Pals tins uh, come out recently, and I think the Kanto ones, the originals, these are, like, the second ones. Um... I bought them in bits and pieces, basically, but I do have the full set. Um, so, as you can see from the back, if you want to quickly read. Uh, they basically come with kind of two booster packs, a um, an art card thing, um, and a coin. And I think like you can connect all the art cards together to make a big picture, which is quite cute. And obviously, all of these tins are slightly embossed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go crack these open, actually. Um, and yeah, I've I've been quite excited to open. Uh, I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, I'm back and I've brought the scissors. Yeah, I was I was quite excited to open these, but yet again, like with the other things, I thought I'd keep them on one side, and slowly that one side did grow to over fifty cards. So uh, I thought, well, hey, I might as well just wait and wait. I have long enough. So. It is time to crack these tins open. They are phenomenally well packed, by the way. Um, yeah, so here's a look at the Pikachu and Vulpix one. I'm not opening them in any particular order. 
but um, very, very cute tins. I did buy the Squirtle one um, from the first set, but unfortunately everywhere was sold out of the other ones. Um, so I kind of gave up on that one, but I did get these. So, right, that is the tin. And inside we have two booster packs, I do believe. So we have a Crimson Invasion. Ah, Crimson Invasion is the one with the secret, um, secret rare Charizard, I think. We have a... Um, oh, we have an Ancient Origins. Okay, that, that was a while ago. Uh, we have the art card. Um, hey, there we are, look, and it gives like information and stuff. But yeah, that's a card of obviously the artwork on the front there. You can join up in a second. I'll, I'll join them all up when I've opened everything. And we get a coin and um, this. Ah, it's a Lolan. It's a Lolan um, Ninetales, I believe. I think so anyway, because it's all icy colour. Really like the effect actually. Right, so. They put that to one side, the artwork to one side, um, and we shall open these packs. We'll do each tin at a time instead of going crazy and opening on them all and then doing the packs. So let's begin with Ancient Origins and then Crimson Invasion. Now these are both, wait no, this is X and Y, so this is three to the front and then Sun and Moon is four to the front, isn't it? I think so. What do I hope to get from Ancient Origins? Not not much really, um, you know, uh, an EX would be nice, but who knows, three to the front. Let's begin with a, uh, a eco arm, okay. Oh, yo, hello. We have a special energy, which is a dangerous energy. Very nice. We have a Curlia, very cute. A Porygon uh, going going down going down a river because that's because he's a polygon duck I guess. We've got a Golurk, very nice. A cute Spinarak, a cute Larvesta, a Magikarp. N not massively cute, but he's not he's not uncute either. Uncute, of course, is a real word. We have a reverse rare Metagross, which uh, reverse hollow, not reverse rare, because that would be a common, I suppose. Um, very nice. Uh, metal energy reverses are always nice. And, uh, ooh, yo, hello. Yo, it's like the ancient trait things, isn't it? That's like, um, damn. Okay, that's, that, that is, that is very cool, actually. So the reverse led into the rare version of Metagross. Now, it's not hollow or anything. Um, yeah, these were like that slightly experimental phase in Pokemon, wasn't it? Where, you could get like full art of like electric and stuff, sort of really random Pokemon. Where do I put that pack? Aha, uh -huh. no, hang on. It's here. Right, cool. I'm gonna chuck that to one side. And let's crack open this Crimson Invasion. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I um I don't have the full art Metagross, obviously because it's a rare. Actually no, I think all of the quote unquote full art primal trait cards were rares, even if they were like Electric was the only one I remember. Um, Alright, four to the front, because it's Sun and Moon. Let's go with Metal Energy. Nope, okay. Uh, super weak to fire, actually. So, we begin with an Emolga. And a Devoured Field. Oh, and a Lolling Graveler. Nice, I don't think I've seen that card before. Uh, we have <laughs> a very cute... Well, he, he's cute, but stoic. That cute one. Hey, Feebas, looking as lost as usual, I suppose. We have a Salandit, very nice. Hey, Pumpkaboo, I really like that artwork. Actually, I've got a few of those, and it's one of my favourite. Ooh, damn, that's a dynamic-looking fish. Okay, we've got a Reverse Aron. I um, actually couldn't tell it was Reverse for a second. And the rare is a... Oh, nice, it's a hollow. It's an Alolan Raichu. Very nice. I've I've not seen this card. That is very cute. Um, yeah, that, that's a pretty clean background as well. Not not quite on level with the legendary dogs, but hey, I will take it because that that is that is what I own now. Um, right. So we've got no. These are it's a lot thinner than the first set, if I remember correctly. But okay. Um, right. So I think Dragonite goes with this, doesn't it? Because look, the background maybe. I don't know, but we'll do Dragonite next anyway. Um, I'm going to try and cut into this tin, so I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. I am peeling it off. 
God damn, these are packaged a lot tighter than I thought they'd be. It did feel like quite thin plastic, but surprisingly tough. Let's put my scissors to the side. Uh, so that is the Dragonite artwork. Very cute. All right. Uh, wait, no, yeah, he is sat on some rocks. Okay. I thought he was just like weirdly levitate in there. I'm gonna try. Hey, there we go. So we have another Crimson Invasion and presumably another um, Ancient Origins. Okay, cool. Our art car. Oh, okay. It's turned around this time. Uh, there we go. We have Dragonite looking longingly into the sky there. And that's some info on Dragonite if you want to read it or whatever. So, hey, does that kind of. Yeah, that goes together. The way, hang on, is that the other way? We'll, we'll sort this out in at the end, I think. And our coin is a Lolan, uh, a Lolan Ninetales again. Okay, cool. Let's put it back in the tin for now. Let's put Dragonite to the side. And, uh, yeah, oh, actually, yeah, I think that is the correct way, maybe? No, not quite. Oh, hang on, wait. That's correct, I think. I don't know. Anyway, let's crack open some cards. Uh, so Ancient Origins again, and then Crimson Invasion. Actually, you know, with five packs of each, because presumably each tin is going to have cards from the same two sets. Five packs of each. That's that, that's decent odds of getting something pretty good. Uh, code card to the side, three to the front. Let's begin with an energy energy recycler. Very nice. Hey, Metang. There we are to go with the Metagross we have. We've got a Sabloy. Oh, a relaxing Meowth, just chilling on the beach. Spinarak again. Porygon again. Uh, oh, yo, unknown. Hey, it's been a while since I've seen an unknown card, actually. Uh, we have a... No, it's not a reverse Beldum this time, sorry. It's a reverse Golet instead. He's hiding from... He's hiding his eyes from the sun. And we have a clay doil, clay doil, clay doll, uh, regular rare, not bad. All right, so on to Crimson Invasion. Can we pull the secret rare Charizard? No, I, I, I don't think so. Um, but you know what? You know, as they say, never say never. So, uh, code card to the side. Four to the front this time. Um, I was going to say normal energy, but that's not an energy you can pull, is it? Um, a uh, fire. Nope. Okay, then. Let's begin with Axelgore, Ninja Bug. Ooh, and Kakuna, also bug. Ah, we've ruined the theme with the Gastrodon, who is not a bug, but is... That is... Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's, an, he's an interesting sea slug. Hey, we've got a Stuffle. Uh, we have a Mistrevus. Very nice. Wasn't Mistrevus a rare in another set? Just goes to show what they put as rare sometimes is just the common in others. We have a Chameco, very nice. Hey, a Skiddo. Our, no, hang on, no, that's that's a Carablast, sorry. Our reverse is a Houndo, um, or Houndower, I, I don't know how you meant to pronounce it. And our rare is a, a Lolan Marowak, very nice, ooh. Oh, yo, wait, hang on. Oh, it's it's a hollow. Oh, <laughs> Hey, we, we've actually been doing pretty good for hollows so far, actually. This this ain't bad. Hey, there we go. That's that's very cool. So, I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but obviously the green fire is what's illuminated most in the hollow effect, which I am digging. Right, hang on. Let me sort this out a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, so after having looked at these art card things, I think I was correct in that those are the kind of right direction I think um, and then this is maybe in the middle I think because he's kind of got light above him as well and so of those two so um, let, oh, hang on sorry let's open the Mewtwo uh, tin next as always I'm gonna go cut into this and I'll be right back all right I am back that was a particularly annoying one to open also I've noticed on the um, on the back here, it talks about um, Sun and Moon booster packs, right there. But um, technically, we get... Um, oh, what is it? Not Crimson Invasion. The the other one as well, which is... Ooh, that opened really easily, actually. 
Um, so that so Crimson Invasion is Sun and Moon, obviously. But um, oh damn, what are you called? Uh, Ancient Origins is not. It's an XY base set, um, booster pack. And that is the Mewtwo art. And will it be a Lolan Nine Tails? Oh, the mystery continues. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna have five of these by the end then. Okay, cool. So does that go? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll put those together like more specifically in a second. Um, but that that's that's looking correct. Sorry, everything's really loud today. Um, Ancient Origins and then Crimson Invasion. So let's crack into this one first. So Ancient Origins has been pretty decent to us so far, I think. Didn't we get a Metagross and then a Hollow? Wait, no, that was Sun and Moon. It was um okay, we've had a Hollow from each each set so far. So that ain't bad. Uh, right, code card to the side. Three to the front, doesn't it? Yeah, cool. Uh, right, it's Dangerous Energy again. Followed by a Meditating Curlia. And then a Ampharos Spirit Link. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Spirit Link cards. They're always slightly annoying to get. Unknown. Hey, Gumi. Magikarp again. We've got a Spinarak. A Beldum. Oh, there's like the three... Oh, nice. Hang on, sorry. A reverse Unknown. Very cool. I'll happily take that. Hey, and a Vespiquen. Um, again, it's not hollow or anything, but it's the primal trait thing. I think I have this card, but never never look down on a, on a nice looking card. And our second one is Crimson Invasion. What will be inside this? Will we get another hollow? Also, I wouldn't mind maybe pulling an EX or a GX. Uh, yes? GX in um, Sun and Moon, isn't it? I think. I can't remember. Water energy. No, steel. Okay. Let's begin with Sea of Nothingness. Aren't we all swimming in the Sea of Nothingness? Uh, it is Axelgor. Kakuna. Wow, okay. We're having very similar themes at the moment. Pull the Corefish, but not in this order. Hey, Ghastly. There to break the chain. Houndor. We've got a star you and another star you just chilling in the sea. Got a hackamore, no, a jangmo. Oh, oh. Uh, our reverse is an agron. Very nice. Yo, so that's probably a hollow as well. And our rare is a beedrill, just a regular beedrill. But actually, yeah, I don't have that card, so that's that's pretty cool. You know, I'll find actually when I'm organising my Pokemon cards that I'll randomly be missing like random non-hollow rares and stuff. So if I'm correct, that should go together. And uh, yeah, two seconds. That that goes together, doesn't it? it? Nothing, nothing's missing there. Yeah, that's that's a damn fine piece of art there. I really like that, and uh, I am a sucker for Mewtwo. I I, I won't lie. So. That, that is very cool, actually. I don't know where the other two come into this, then. So what is... Um, he'd be up there, maybe, I guess, is it? Does it kind of go like... Hmm, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm zoomed in, so you can't see what I'm doing here. I meant to say, I think the other two go up here. So I'll just crack open this Mew one next. Uh, as always, I will be right back. All right. I'm actually looking forward to finishing these tins because the plastic they use is ridiculous. Because they're like so small, I guess. Like the regular size tins, they're they're not good as oh, oh, this has almost come off. Okay. Also it's upside down. That's weird. Cause that huh. Okay, cool. Please don't be a faulty tin. Uh right. No, oh, ancient origin oh hang on. Ancient origin is at the front this time. And Crimson Invasion is at the back. That is a reverse of how the others were. Also, the Mew card is reversed. He, and he's got a Psyduck with him. Because everyone wanted Psyduck, I suppose. That is Mew and some of his information, if you'd like. Oh, wait, does that... Oh, yo, they're all next to each other. Okay. I, I missed that until just now. So that goes to the right. Ah, this makes way more sense now. Um, 
I'm gonna try and find a way to display all these together, maybe. I'll put it more um, more together at the end. And wow, it's an Alolan Ninetales. Who would have guessed? Um, right, bit of the size. Sorry, I do sound ungrateful. I'm not. I, um, you know, the, these coins are always useful to have. Right, Ancient Origins. This is pack four of five. Unless the, uh, the Charizard tin there throws us for a loop and gives us something else, but that would also honestly at this point I'm actually wanting more ancient origins. I don't think I opened that many from this set because I I slightly cooled on collecting cards around this time I think. Wait, no, hang on. Uh, let me put this back because that was the fourth one, wasn't it? Hang on. Uh, yes, I think. Yeah, that's not a rare. Okay, Hex Maniac. Um, cool. Right. Uh, I, I was thinking Sun and Moon. Uh, we have a Vespiquen, a Sceptile Spirit Link. Those are cards I do not miss because they're kind of, for a collection point of view, they're not as cool to be honest. We've got some Combies, very nice. We've got a Quagsire, okay, yeah, very nice. I haven't seen Quagsire in ages in the cards. Meowth chilling on the beach again. We've got Spinarak. We've got Porygon. Uh, our reverse is a Cottony. And our rare is a Metagross. Ah, there we are. So that's the normal, non-hollow version of the reverse Metagross I pulled earlier. Very nice. Uh, I'll have to stack that up there, I think. And let's break into this penultimate Crimson Invasion pack. See, bringing some verbose attitude to these videos. Uh, no, hang on. That was not a clean opening, but whatever. Uh, right, code to the side, four to the front this time, psychic energy, I'm going to go all, hey, whoa, okay, is this good luck, is this going to show us something, there is Chinchino, we have Gladion, the emo West person on, oh, yo, hello, counter energy, damn, that artwork is cool, that's really cool, that, yeah, Oh, okay. That I, I I wasn't wasn't expecting that. Okay, cool. We've got Stuffle, very cute. We have Mistrevus again. Also, I think I read that as Miss Magius a few packs ago, didn't I? Sorry about that. Chemeco. Uh, we have a Skiddo, yay! A Carablast. Our reverse is Swineub, very cute. And our rare is a uh, go, uh, go <laughs> I was, I was going to say either Pumpkaboo or Pumpkgeist. Um, oh, very nice. I don't think I have this card, actually. This uh, Gogageist is my favourite Gen 5 Pokemon. Just in case anyone was wondering. Probably, probably not, but just in case you wanted to know. Right, okay. It is time for our final tin, and it is Charizard. So, um, once again, actually, do you know, I may cut across this corner here. Maybe this will be easier. Uh, actually, mm, slightly? Not, not really. Um, I think the TLDR is, if you buy these tins, they are always a pain to open because the plastic is ridiculously strong on them. Um, I guess they just didn't have a machine that was like custom made for putting plastic on such small objects, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that is the Charizard tin. Sorry, I realise I, um, I haven't shown you guys the embossed kind of like tones on some of these. Um, and no, oh, that's upside down. Wait, no, that's the correct way. What the hell? Although that's very loose as well. Uh, right, let's crack this open. I, ooh, wow, this is a, that's a tight one. Okay then, we have Crimson Invasion. Will it be Ancient Origins? Yes, it will be. For a second, I genuinely thought it wasn't. I was like, what? Um, we have... Uh, oh, okay, it's Hooper. Ooh, and look at that. We have the Charizard art thing. So I'll put Messily there for a second. And we have Alolan Ninetales. Let's put these packs here. Let's put this tin there. There we are. Uh, and we'll come back to the art in a second. But it is looking crazy and... I'm struggling not to just focus on that. So, let's crack open this Ancient Origins uh, booster. It is our last one. Can it end on a high? Who knows? This time I'll only shuffle three to the front. 
because I am slowly learning. Uh, I was going to say, oh, what energy will it be? But that's that's not how XY works. Uh, we have a Sceptile Spirit Link again. We have a Rotom. Very cute. I, I don't remember pulling Rotom from this set either. We have Ace Trainer. Very nice. They always change appearance, don't they? Every gen. Well, most trainers do, to be fair. Um, we have a Malamar, which was terrifying in the XY anime, if you remember. We have some more Combi. That Quagsire again, burying himself in mud. Mewtwo, chilling. Uh, Mewtwo? Meowth, chilling on the beach. Jesus Christ, I, I need a break. Uh, we've got a Spinarak. Our reverse is a Eco Arm. I was going to say Echo Arm, but that makes no sense. And can we end on a... <gasps> Yo! <laughs> okay, okay, I, I was kidding, but we will take this Sceptile EX. That is not bad. Uh, oh, sorry, Mega Sceptile EX. Yo, okay. Um, I'm not going to lie, the artwork makes it slightly hard to see exactly what's going on. But, um, yeah. And also, that does say Jagged or Sabre. Uh, which is Jagged Sabre. Because uh, with the EX, uh, things like this in the Japanese set, this is written in English, and obviously that's written in Japanese. Yo, okay, <laughs> thank you Crimson Invasions. That is a... That was the first EX of the thing, and it's a very, very cool one. I don't think I have any of the Hoenn Starter EXs, uh, Omega EXs, from this set, so that's very cool. Put that down there for a second, and let's crack open this last Crimson Invasion. Now, part of me wants to say, hey, Crimson Invasion, want to end on a high just like Ancient Origin? But then I realise it's a card set and not an actual living thing, so it, it can't... I can't listen to my appeals for uh, for stuff anyway. I'm gonna say fire energy. Oh, the opposite. Okay. Well, let's let's make of this what we will. We have a chinchino, a hunter that looks like he was licking a post for a second there. Hey, we have a Zuelus. Very nice. That uh, that serious cute cubone again. We have an execute on the beach. Uh, oh, a different Magikarp. Wait, or was that the one from Ancient Origins? I can't remember, but it's nice to know there's a Magikarp. There's two of them. There, there. Wait! Ah, wait, no, hang on. Is that is that Team Rocket? Um, the, you know, like the Magikarp they used to... The, the metal one they used to, like, swim around in? I can't quite tell. Ah, oh, that's a really wholesome, happy-looking Minchino there. That's not a very wholesome-looking Corefish. Our reverse is uh, that Execute again, running on the beach, or bouncing, I suppose. And what will we end this with? Okay, well, it's a Hydragon. But, hey, you know, we got us away loss. I've probably got a Dano for this set. I, I may have all three of them already. I don't know. But, hey, that was pretty cool. Honestly, um, you know, the, the pulls haven't been crazy so far. But we did get an EX, and I can't argue with that. Now, I'm going to clear everything up, and then we can actually take a look at this proper art thing. So we'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back, and I've put them all together. That is pretty darn cool, actually. As I said, I'm going to try and work out a way that I can display this. I might have to buy one of those really long um, picture frames or something. But honestly, I think this is something that's worthy of that, because, like... It contains quite a few of my, like, favourite Pokemon. I, I do have a soft spot for Mewtwo. I know he's the kind of, like, generic, kind of edgy Pokemon, but hey, whatever. Love Mew. I, I love me some Dragonite. Charizard and Pikachu and Eevee. Uh, also, yeah, Psyduck and stuff. There's so, much, there's so much going on. Um, I did try to put the tins together as well, but they don't look quite as cool. Hang on. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't work quite as well because there's the gaps and obviously... But that, man, that is a fucking tapestry. All right, well, that's very nice. Now, I'm going to go tidy up the thing, uh, and I'll grab the next batch of products to open. Stay tuned. <laughs> 